my dumb ass has been sitting here fucking around with this bike. This is an X12 110cc. Used to have one of these. Took it to the Smoky Mountain Crawl. I'll try to put a picture right here. One of these, uh, back 2017 to the Smoky Mountain Crawl. Had a fucking blast. Throttle cable ended up breaking on it. Uh, back brake line actually busted on it. And I, I still hit the tail of the dragon. With ease. Had a blast. I uh, got home, traded it to a buddy of mine. Blah, 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 blah. He ended up riding it, and a cable van pulled out in front of him, so it destroyed the, the entire bike. Beautiful bike, powerful little bike. So, whenever I found these two, I found this one, and I found this one for 100 bucks. I traded a moped for it that was worth about five, 600 bucks. Traded the moped, got home, threw that one in the corner, haven't even touched it, haven't even thought about touching it. Been playing with this one, got this one running, threw a new carburetor on it, cleaned, uh, Cleaned out all the electrical because they had some messy wires going on it. So cleaned all that up. Got it running. Been riding the hell out of it. You know, I was about to list this one right here. And I started looking at it. And I, I figured out that that is a 2014 or 2013 Venom X18 RR. Which has a 15.5 horsepower engine compared to 9.6 horsepower. This one has bigger ports on the head. For the intake, bigger ports for the exhaust. It's got a factory performance exhaust coming off of it. It's got higher torque stator or starter. Little bit better gearing in it. And that's that's basically it. But for now, I'm just going to throw this one's tire on to this one. Oh, and it's got a better carburetor on it. It's got a 21, 22 mil carb compared to the uh, 20, factory 20. But, uh... I'm going to throw this rim on, or the, the rim from this one, I'm going to throw onto there and see if I can get it running. And if I can get it to run, I'm going to change the motor from this frame over to this one and this one to that one because there's nothing really supporting this, you know what I'm saying? There's no kind of, no kind of frame coming down protecting the motor or basically, you know, s stabilizing everything versus how this one right here is. And this one seems to have a little bit better of a frame set up on it compared to that one right there. Which that one looks like, uh, no, nah, I really couldn't lay that one over and be okay because of the amount of case that will be hitting compared to this one. These bars right here, they stick out enough to protect the motor once the fairings and shit are on it. 